Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of classifying two-dimensional shapes. This is standard 5.5a in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 9 of the 2018 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have a triangle right here, and it looks like it's got three different sides, each of eight centimeters, and we need to classify it. You notice there's two different ways that we can classify it, by its angle measure and by its side length. And every single triangle that you ever can draw can always be described at least two different ways, once by the angle measure, once by the side length. So we need to figure out how are all the different ways that we can classify this triangle. Well, let's look at our angle measures. So acute triangles are those that have all three angles that are acute or less than 90. So our benchmark angle is our right angle, our 90 degrees. So I'll draw that right here. So this is our right angle. We kind of compare everything to this. It's our 90 degree angle. It's perpendicular. So acute angles kind of look like this. They're going to be a little bit smaller. They can be quite a bit smaller, or they can be almost non-existent like this. But these are all acute. And so we're looking, all three angles are acute, and it does look like all three of these angles. Now we have to kind of eyeball this, but imagine if you were to draw like a straight line and make it perpendicular here, and you see that all of these angles are smaller than that. So it does look like we can call it an acute angle or acute triangle. Right triangles has one right angle. And so those are going to look like this. And typically they'll put a little square right there just to kind of let you know that you got a square corner. So it's definitely not a right triangle. And then we have obtuse. So obtuse triangles have one. You can't have more than one. You can't have more than one right angle. You can't have more than uh, one obtuse angle. Obtuse angles are greater than 90. So right angles are exactly 90, and obtuse are just kind of big, fat angles, kind of like this. So that's an obtuse angle. It could be really big like this, or it could just be barely like above 90, but these are all obtuse. So it is definitely not obtuse, so it is an acute triangle. So we've got this right here, we've got this, we've got, it, we've got acute in at least three, which means we're going to need to go ahead and look at our side lengths. So there's three different ways we can classify triangles based on side lengths. So isosceles, isosceles has two equal side lengths. So two equal side lengths. And so we see this has got eight, eight, and eight. So it does have two, it's got more than two, it's got three. So sometimes your isosceles triangle are kind of, it's going to kind of look like, usually it's kind of tall and skinny like that. They kind of do it like that, and they say, look, that's the same side length as that. But we do have two side lengths, at least, that are equal, so that's good. So equilateral, you see that word equal almost in there. That's all three are the same. All three sides are equal. Just think of that word equal, all three. And that's definitely yes. So we've got both isosceles and I and isosceles and I in equilateral. Scalene is not gonna happen. No side lengths equal. So that's those are just some really uh, weird looking triangles. None of the side lengths are equal. All three are equal here. So I've got acute, I've got isosceles, I've got equilateral, which means my answer here is D.